one of the things I'd really like to say to people with urticaria is that there is hope. You are going through a very difficult time right now. I understand how excruciating these hives can be, but there is hope and there is help. So keep going, keep moving forward. My name is Kristen Willard. I'm 49 years old. I work for a nonprofit in Washington, D.C. in the United States. I was in my early 20s, the first time I was diagnosed with urticaria, and I was diagnosed at an urgent care. Um, in the United States, we have a system of urgent cares where people can go rather than going to the hospital. And that's exactly where I went. I actually had a reaction to detergent that I was using to wash my clothes. So I had raised hives that were very, very itchy and they were persistent. They did not go away and they were preventing me from doing my daily activities. I luckily have not experienced any issues with access to care. I have, and for all of the times that I have had um, urticaria, I have had good insurance and been very lucky to that end. What interest, is interesting to me is that I still have such difficulty with the condition, even when I do have such good access to care. So it just goes to show you what people who do not have that access must experience. So when you have, when you're experiencing urticaria or hives, you are in survival mode. Because it impacts so much of your life, you are just going day to day. Now, when you have access to good care and to healthcare professionals that speak to each other, that speak to you, that know what's available to help you, it makes a world of difference because it enables you to cope with what you're dealing with, to then have hope for what could happen coming forward and then to return to your normal life when at all possible. So I did not reach out to patient support groups and looking back, I wish that I had. I think it's incredibly powerful to engage with people who understand what it is that you're going through I expect that I will experience urticaria again in my lifetime. Chances are I will have another experience like that. And that's something I will most definitely do. I think there are several things that can help people who are advocating for uh, better care for individuals with urticaria. I think capturing patient stories like these are really important. There's nothing quite like hearing about the impact of a condition on an individual and how much it changes their lives, their families' lives as well. I think. Having data on urticaria and how it impacts people all over the world can be very helpful when talking to policymakers, when looking to affect change. And I think education for our healthcare providers as well as for patients would be very, very helpful in moving the needle and ensuring that people spend fewer days lost to having hives. So I have been lucky in more recent years to locate organizations that I know I can go to whenever I have uh, a new bout with hives. One of those is the Asthma and Allergy Foundation in the United States, as well as the organization that I work for, which is GAP, G-A-A-P-P.org. I also seek out my healthcare professional. Um, I make sure that I have access to them so that I can ask questions after my visits. I prepare for my visits by making sure I have a list of questions and I try to be my own best advocate. One of the things I'd like to tell healthcare professionals is to really pay attention to what your patients are telling you. It's hard if you have not experienced hives to the extent that someone with chronic urticaria has to understand just how limiting and how difficult they are. So I think it's really important to pay attention to that patient experience and understand that this isn't just a simple case of itching that this is something that's impacting every facet of an individual's life.